guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Lola. So I'm showing you my backyard. And you probably see the dog, my dog Google running around. So I'm gonna work outside again today because you know it's a nice weather. And I will work on uh, two tables. One is coffee table and the other one is hand table, but they are a set. So come along with me and let's do something today guys. This is the two tables we found on the street. We rescue it. One is coffee table and the other one is end table, but it looks like they're a set because they have the same design. So, of course, uh, we're gonna do something for sure. Uh, we're gonna keep the look for the, the top, but we're gonna paint this. I know we're gonna paint this as a solid wood. It's probably, well, for sure this one is uh, the leg for both tables is oak but I'm not completely sure for the tabletop it's probably uh, an oak veneer but I'm not really sure but we check this is a very thin veneer and we don't want to risk to sand it too deep and then damage it so we're gonna strip it with this product this is very safe for the environment but because I never do this before, my husband will help me and show me how so I'm able to do it for the next project. So let's start. To apply the stripper, we follow the instructions which states that we have to apply a liberal amount and to never let the product dry on the piece or it will be difficult to remove.
All right, right now my husband is applying a clean plastic sheet over the stripper to prevent it from drying and he has to leave it for one hour. Now he just do the same thing for the end table. After one hour, my husband removes the stripper using a paint scraper. After cleaning the piece with water, he is now using a wet steel wool to remove the remaining stripper. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of varnish left on the piece even after he applied stripper for the second time. Now I understand why a lot of other YouTubers have abandoned chemical strippers. They don't work. So now we purchase a carbide plate paint scraper. It works very well. He tried to follow the grain pattern but the veneer is a complex pattern and it's hard to accomplish
Now my husband will apply a wood stain conditioner from Faratin. This product seals the wood and prevents blotchy stain color. Now he will apply the stain from Faratin and the color is early American. Oh yeah guys, by the way, sorry about the microphone on the picture. I left my husband alone without supervision. <laughs> Okay guys, now it's my turn to go back in the game. It's my part now. I will paint it. I am using white paint from Bear Scuff Defense.
Oh yeah guys, I'm using two coats of paint for this uh, end table and coffee table. Now I am distressing this piece using 150 grit of sandpaper. To protect the finish, I apply wipe on poly from Minwax. Uh, I apply two coats for the body and the legs and four coats for the top.
Okay guys, that's it for the project today. I hope you enjoy it and you like the result. But don't forget to drop your comment below and then don't forget your like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and then see you in my next project. Ta-da!